Let's go over the DeForce Simulator in Daz Studio, what it is and why it's so exciting for posing and animating in Daz Studio. So here I have my character loaded in with a DeForce compliant outfit. And to make sure that an outfit is DeForce compliant, when you're shopping on Daz3D.com, under compatible software, it's going to say DeForce right here. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to apply a pose to my character. And I'm just going to come into files in my smart content under poses. I want a jumping pose. So let's put something on like this. And you can see that this dress kind of follows the bones of the pose. But you can see it's not looking natural at all and it's not draping the way real cloth would on this pose. So since this outfit is DeForce compliant, all we need to do is come into our simulation settings. And from here, we can change a few things like the gravity, air resistance. And let's just make sure that this is on current frame. And by default, this is going to start from a memorized pose, which is our A pose. Let's hit simulate and see what happens. And I'm just going to speed up this simulation process for you. So that simulation is done. And you can see that now the cloth drapes. And that looks very natural. Very cool. So what about if we have an animated sequence? Let's just go ahead and zero that pose back out. And I'm going to bring up my timeline and let's add a few more frames. I'm just going to do 90 and I'll come forward in the timeline, come back into smart content. I'm going to add a pose, come forward a little bit, add a different pose, come forward, maybe switch that. If we scrub through, we can see this animation. It's not going to look awesome. But if we come into our simulation settings and switch from current frame to animated using the time play range. Let's simulate this again. And again, I'm going to just speed this up for you. All right, let's go ahead and play this through. And you can see that that cloth is moving, draping, and behaving like realistic cloth. And you can apply this to animate animations as well. Just make sure that you bake them out to your timeline first.